First up this morning, today marks one week after Brian Laundrie was reported missing and now local officials have new reason to find him. The only person of interest in Gabby Petito's death has been indicted by a federal grand jury. Our Chad Mills in Northport this morning and Chad, Brian's federal charge, the most eye popping part about this is actually not for Gabby's death. What is it for? That's right. Instead, it involves something that Brian is accused of doing after Gabby went missing in Wyoming. There in Wyoming, a federal grand jury decided there is enough evidence to charge Brian with something that's called use of unauthorized access devices. Here's what that means. According to the indictment, Brian used a Capital One debit card to withdraw more than $1,000 after Gabby's death, a death since called a homicide. Now, at this point, we do not know who the card belonged to. The indictment simply says Brian wasn't authorized to use it. Of course, the arrest warrant would not now allow law enforcement to immediately arrest Brian if and when he is found. And here in Sarasota County this morning, that remains the focus for Northport Police and its partners searching Carlton Reserve for Brian. It's tremendous. This is a tremendous uh, mass of land. Uh, the more people, uh, the more effective we are, and they bring resources. Northport PD says search crews did not find anything yesterday as they continued searching that vast nature park. They will be back at it again today when the sun rises to continue that search. We're live here in Northport. Chad Mills, ABC Action News. Chad, thanks for the update. More than half a dozen law enforcement agencies now assisting in the search for Brian Laundrie, and the Lee County Sheriff's Office has brought a very special piece of technology to help with this search. The Dragonfish drone has the capability to fly nearly 19 miles from the operator. The battery lasts two hours in the air, and the camera on it watches for heat signatures on the ground. Basically, it can do a lot of the things a helicopter can do at a fraction of the cost. We're going to bring you any updates on the search on air and on our ABC Action news app and this morning the first victim of a mass shooting inside a Tennessee supermarket has been identified the family of 70 year old Olivia King confirmed she was killed they believe she went to church before going to the store police say a gunman killed at least one hurt 14 others the shooter was found dead from an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound authorities have not revealed a motive but ABC News has learned they are investigating this as a suspected case of workplace violence and witnesses say the shooter seemed familiar with the store's layout. Some breaking news from overnight. The CDC has cleared the way for millions of Americans to get COVID-19 vaccine booster shots as early as today. Earlier this morning, the CDC director overruled her own panel to include frontline workers in the group that is now eligible for those boosters. Americans 65 and older who got the Pfizer vaccine can now get a booster dose six months after their second shot. Data shows 13 million people are eligible today. The CDC also will allow adults 18 and older with medical conditions that put them at a high risk to get a booster as well. Officials will review the need for boosters for Moderna and other Pfizer recipients in the coming weeks. It is Friday, and that means we have live community coverage for you. Dia is in Lutz this morning. Good morning, Dia. Hey, good morning and welcome to the Old Loot School. This historic landmark is situated on U.S. Highway 41. It's right in front of the current Loot K-8 school. You're probably past it if you travel this route at all. Uh, this school was built back in 1927 with four classrooms downstairs and an auditorium upstairs. In 1975, a group of people got together to save this landmark and preserve its history. Now it's cared for by a nonprofit, and that nonprofit holds events here at the school, too. You can read more about the school's history, find out how to get involved on on abcactionnews.com slash loots. And not too far from here on US 41 is Deb's Whistle Stop Depot. If you travel on Highway 41, then you have no doubt seen it. You cannot miss it. But I will bet that most people don't even know how cool this place is. It looks awesome from outside. But there's way more to this place than what you see just on the outside. Inside the main building, you'll find all kinds of home decor and furniture out back, a flower garden and a general store with handmade soaps and lotions. And then there's the Whistle Stop Gardens Tea Room, which is so much fun. A lot of people don't know and they're really surprised. And almost every week somebody will say, I've been driving down this road for years never known you were here, never known there was more than the front store, because they don't stop and look. 
No, they don't. Hey, Sean Daly is out there. He's getting set up right now. He's going to join us live from the Whistle Stop Depot coming up at 6 o'clock. I can tell you guys, I passed by this place so many times, and I've always wondered what it is. And now we're going to take you inside. I know a lot of people felt the same way, but we're going to take you inside and show you how cool this place really is. You might want to come over, James, later on and have a spot of tea with me. Ah, perhaps I will, Dia. That sounds exquisite. I hope that uh, Sean D at out. least has... <laughs> Greg, I hope Sh Sean Daly, I should say, at least is brushed up on his table etiquette for this live shot coming up. At the I hope room. so. I was trying to think of something classy to say, but I haven't had enough coffee yet, y'all. I'm just not there yet. Maybe in the <laughs> 6 o'clock hour. Come on in, everybody. That looks really good. Can't wait to see what Sean finds and uh, looking forward to hearing more from Dia in Lutz. Good morning, everybody. We're looking out the uh, St. Pete Tower cam right now. Clear skies overhead, temperatures in the 70s. Nice to see St. Pete below 80 degrees this morning. That's your current temperature at 79. Over towards downtown Tampa, also 79. But look at Brooksville, 73. Crystal River, 68. We've got 60s now developing south into Hernando County. Drier air has filtered into at least the nature coast so far. It'll be slow to work its way farther south. It may take much of the weekend to do so. But at least it's going to cut down on the amount of rain that we see popping up mostly sunny skies for a good portion of the day today. Temperatures still near 90 degrees in Tampa. Look at that weekend forecast coming up just minutes away. James. Greg, thank you. Also ahead this morning, a dangerous recall to tell you about. This baby lounger is being linked to several deaths. The different names this lounger was sold under. Plus this. In beautiful downtown loops, kick off your boots, give a holler and a hoot. Yeehaw! <laughs> Not every community can say it has its own theme song, but Lutz does. Ahead, how the man who wrote the song says it wasn't even his idea at first. He's got enough to think about maintaining. Good thing the all-new 2022 Volkswagen Taos has a lower cost of maintenance than Toyota RAV4. Come into your Volkswagen dealer today and lease the all-new 2022 Taos S for just $229 a month. Seat number? This way. Thanks. Um, excuse me. Just get it. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Oh, sorry. When it comes to airplane seats, size matters. Same goes for your law firm, Morgan & Morgan. Would you like some peanuts? America's largest injury law firm. six million miles why hand tune an audio system why include the most advanced active safety system in its class standard because when you want to create an entirely new feeling the difference between excellence and mastery is all the difference in the world the lexus es every curve every innovation every feeling a product of mastery experience amazing at your lexus dealer i'm jerry i smoked and I have late stage COPD. I'm hoping to get on the lung transplant list, but I don't know if I'll be accepted in time. My children are really worried. My tip is, every morning, give your kids a call or send them a text. It may be the last time that you do. Tobacco Free Florida offers free nicotine patches to help start your quit journey. 1-877-YOU-CAN-NOW. Impossible. Zero Sugar Trabani is here. Zero Sugar Trabani has zero sugar? Zero sugar. Define zero. And it's lactose free. Naturally. And 60 calories? Impossibly delicious. Impossible. So this has never happened before. The world's biggest pop stars, their president, together on morning TV. This morning, what happens when BTS and the president of South Korea come together for GMA? Get ready to be blown away. This morning, only on... Good morning, America. 
Now's the perfect time to buy outdoor furniture. Shop our convenient Rooms to Go Patio showrooms near you in Tampa, Pinellas Park, Brandon, and Sarasota. And save with a huge selection of outdoor furniture at great low prices. Shop outdoor dining sets, seating, poolside, and more. Everything you want to go out at home. That's Rooms to Go Patio. Quality outdoor furniture at amazing prices and fast delivery. Don't wait. Shop any of our four great Rooms to Go Patio locations and go out for less. It's nice to know your blind spot can be protected. Blind spot monitor, standard on all 2021 Volkswagen SUVs, unlike all Honda or Subaru SUVs. Come into your Volkswagen dealer today and get 0% TBR financing for 36 months on the 2021 Tiguan S or lease one for just $279 per month. Thirteen minutes after five right now. You know, not every community can say it has its own theme song, but there is a famous song about loots that most locals here know by heart. And this morning, I want to introduce you to the man who wrote it. His name is John Lutz Ritter. Kick off your boots, give a holler and a hoot. Yeehaw! He's a country living in beautiful downtown Lutz. If you're from Lutz, you've probably heard this classic. If you like a place with nothing, You'll say, man, Lutz is really something. Cause there's something for nothing in beautiful downtown Lutz. We caught up with the man who sang it, John Lutz Ritter, at his studio in St. Pete. The song started on a local radio show called back then, Q Morning Zoo. And I played that for him and did all their parodies, and it was great. And uh, he goes, you're from Lutz, aren't you? And I said, yeah. And he goes, why don't you write a song about Lutz? So I did, and Scott Shannon then called me John Lutz Ritter. And he played that song, Beautiful Downtown Lutz. It played all around the state, and it became a state hit song. And to this day, I can meet somebody from Lutz, and they'll go, yeehaw, and they'll, they'll sing me the chorus, you know? So it's, it's lasted the... Uh, lasted through all the years. Ritter spent a lot of time in Lutz while attending USF. A little city they pick on. It's got a half a dozen churches blinking light in the laundromat. Both its buildings are outdated. And while a lot of this slice of Tampa Bay has changed, there's still a piece that remains the way it used to be. It was quiet, and you know what? I'm still a Lutz kind of guy. I like slow towns. I like people that when they talk to you, they're sincere. Um, I like going to mom and pop shops. I like uh, talking to people. So that's, that's what I always loved about Lutz. Today, Ritter is the host of a nationally syndicated radio show called Rise Up Country. Locally, it's broadcast on WQYK. He spends his time interviewing country celebrities and spreading inspirational messages. I'm glad that music touches so many hearts and... Um, we hope that even with Rise Up Country, that's what we're trying to do, is trying to give you that, that message that you're not stuck with you, you can change. We say don't give up, just rise up. Hey, in this case, if you didn't know, Ritter also wrote the Bucks fight song. Of course, it was the year that they didn't win a game. But he says back then, the Bucks pretty much said, hey, if you can get people to sing it, we'll play it. So. John rented some trucks, he circled the stadium, and there became the Buccaneer fight song. Hey, 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 we're the Buccaneers. Ho, 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 we're the Buccaneers. Offense, defense, now we're here to say, make the Rams walk the plank, throw them in Tampa Bay. Make the Rams walk the plank, throw them in Tampa Bay. Hey! <laughs> I love it. You can read more about the Lutz fight song or the Lutz song and also the Bucks fight song and Ritter on abcactionnews.com slash Lutz. You know, guys, we were just talking yesterday about those songs that, you know, go viral. They get stuck in your head. I hope that those two are stuck in your head now and you walk around all day saying, yeehaw. <laughs> yeah, D, I don't think that's going to happen. Maybe I'll <laughs> but they're good. I'll, I'll say, uh, Greg, definitely enjoy throwing the Rams in, in Tampa Bay. Took a darker turn than I expected. But we, can, we can make that catch on. We can. We can. We can definitely make it catch on. Good morning, everybody. Uh, <laughs> glad to see uh, Dia and Lutz. And uh, if you are watching from Lutz and you're watching about your town, hey, this is the chance. Visit my Facebook page. Let me know what makes Lutz such a special community. I'll be sharing those responses coming up in the next half hour. Take a look outside here this morning. Uh, that is actually the F-Dot camera. 
Uh, can we switch over to Max 1? Uh, that is uh, FDOT behind me. I can tell you it's really nice out there. Clear skies. Roads are looking good. There we go. Temperatures into the mid 70s right now into the mid to upper 80s as we head into the afternoon. A couple of scattered clouds around Pinellas County. Nice little breeze here off the Gulf. It's going to be a northeast wind uh, early turning northwest in the afternoon as the sea breeze moves in. But here's some great news. Rain chances low. Now, the front hasn't completely cleared all the moisture out. It's still going to be rather humid from Tampa south for much of the afternoon. So I can't rule out a quick pop up shower out of any of these clouds today, though I don't think rain is going to be a big issue. Sam is now a hurricane. This happened fast. And I want you to watch these um, these next three forecast points. It goes from category one to category two to category four. This is going to be a huge hurricane. It's intensifying fast in terms of intensity and in size. The storm is relatively small. And and the great news is that all the models now keep the center north of the islands and they are starting to really indicate a pretty quick turn away from the eastern United States. I'll be posting updates on the storm at Greg D. Weather throughout the weekend. Speaking of the weekend, the front just south of downtown Tampa now, it'll kind of hang out here today and the start of tomorrow, but gets another push south as we head into Sunday. So I think Sunday's going to feel a little better than Saturday. Both days, low humidity and temperatures near 90 degrees with partly to mostly sunny skies. Jason. And we were looking at an accident earlier reported just south of the northern apex here on I-75 northbound. I've been looking at the FDOT cameras. Traffic cameras not showing any kind of a delay this morning here in these areas, even though a roadblock was reported. So it looks pretty good, but just be advised that just south of the northern apex, there is a reported accident from FDOT there. We'll continue to watch it for you and let you know if any delays mount up. 275 southbound into Tampa from the apex looks just fine. Yesterday we didn't have any accidents, but volume delays were a concern, especially by 7 and 8 a.m. And also at the Veterans Express, we had two Two accidents here yesterday morning. Thankfully, nothing out there right now. Looking pretty good, but we'll keep you posted as we continue here through the next couple of hours. Coming up, our community showcase here in Lutz continues. And just ahead, helping people say goodbye to their beloved pets. How one veterinarian here in Lutz is helping people all over the country. And also in our second half hour, how a nonprofit is using one special dog breed to help military veterans. I've always been running to meetings, errands. Now I'm running for me. I've always dreamed of seeing the world, but I'm not chasing my dream anymore. I made a financial plan to live it every day. There was a dream. One day I could see it. At Northwestern Mutual, our version of financial planning helps you live your dreams today. Find a Northwestern Mutual advisor at nm.com. I recommend Matramade Vitamins because I trust their quality. They were the first to be verified by USP, an independent organization that sets strict quality and purity standards. Natramade, the number one pharmacist recommended vitamin and supplement brand. We made a promise to our boy Blue that we would make the healthiest foods possible with the finest natural ingredients and real meat first. And that's our promise to you and your dog or cat. Because when you love them like family, you want to feed them like family. Here's a look at your Tampa Bay Area Drive Times. After a crash, you need an experienced attorney in your corner. Insurance companies will try to settle for as little as possible. They'll use every excuse to avoid paying a valid claim. At Fair and Fair, we'll fight their excuses with facts. Weather in the Bay Area can be beautiful and fun, but we all know how quickly that can change. That's why you can count on the ABC Action weather team to bring you Florida's most accurate forecast, keeping your family safe and informed, helping you plan and prepare for what's coming your way. On your TV, on your favorite streaming platform, and on the road in the ABC Action News Storm Tracker. ABC Action News, taking action for you. Go to MarkSpain.com to get a guaranteed offer on your home today and start packing. Selling your home can be stressful, but it doesn't have to be. Get a guaranteed offer from Mark Spain Real Estate. There are no showings, no open houses, no stress. Work with the number one real estate team in the U.S. and close with confidence. Go to MarkSpain.com today. 
I've always been inspired by possibility, taking elements that exist and putting them together to create something new. Rooms to Go understands the power of this. With Rooms to Go, you can easily make the most of every space. Whether you want a place to share or somewhere just for you, the incredible styles, colors, fabrics means you can always find the perfect something. And the best part, you can do it all within budget, whether you shop online or at a store near you. Anything's possible at Rooms to Go. When it comes to airplane seats, size matters. Same goes for your law firm, Morgan & Morgan. Would you like some peanuts? America's largest injury law firm. You have reached your destination. Subaru Outback. Dog tested, dog approved. Tiramisu. Ooh, tiramisu. Or save up and eat tiramisu in Little Italy. The lights of Broadway. Wait, did I pay the light bill? Tiramisu. Regions convenient new ways to track your transactions, make it easier to get back to the moment. This was a love triangle. Wealthy older man, younger attractive gold digger, and her younger lover who happened to be a former football player in the NFL. Radio call came out, shots fired. Tonight, the 2020 true crime event on ABC. Installing new windows is a great way to improve the beauty and value of your home. Save money on your energy costs. And most importantly, provide safety and peace of mind during hurricane season with a double lifetime warranty. Reese Windows and Doors is your factory direct, family owned and operated company that only uses in-house installers. And they can get most windows in less than three months when other companies take twice as long. Learn more or request a quote at reesewindows.com. Replace your old air conditioner with ABC and save. Purchase a new AC and get your air handler free. That's right, get your air handler free. Just call ABC. Trust ABC and consider it done. Get a guaranteed offer from Mark Spain Real Estate and sell your home fast or choose one you want to move. There are no showings, no open houses, no stress. Trust the real estate company with the most five-star reviews. Go to MarkSpain.com to get a guaranteed offer on your home today. Well, this morning, I am in Lutz as part of our Friday Community Showcase. There is a national business that's got it, that got its start here in Lutz. It's called Lap of Love. It's an in-home veterinary hospice and euthanasia service. Its mission is to help pet owners through a very difficult and emotional time. Dr. Danny McVetty Linen found a passion for this. It started off as a part-time job, and then she saw the need for this service in this community, and now it's nationwide. We help um, close to 500 families a month now in the Tampa Bay area. And so many families, I've been to some homes five and six times over the years. And it's such an honor because you don't, you don't see them in between, but then you come back for that end of life experience. And, and it's, a, it's, it's, it's like a, a shared experience that you get to have with them again and again. Lap of Love has also added a pet end of life support team. You can read more about that service and their history on abcactionnews.com slash loots. I want to go back to you, James, now in the studio for more news of the day. Dia, thank you. A consumer alert that all parents need to hear about this morning. The Boppy companies recalling millions of baby loungers because they pose a suffocation risk. Eight children died in these between 2015 and 2020. The recall involves the original newborn loungers, preferred loungers, and Pottery Barn Kids Boppy newborn loungers. We have pictures of, the, of those on the screen right now for you. We've also posted all those names and how to get a refund on ABC Action news.com slash recalls it's sad I, I just don't know how many more kids have to get sick for this to to end ahead parents and teachers share their concerns about the high number of students being quarantined and a big change to florida's rules and a key resource for foster kids almost shut down coming up at 5 30 how the community rallied to save joshua house abc action traffic is sponsored by farrah and farrah it's the classic debate, sizzling sausage or crispy bacon. Drive through McDonald's for a sausage McMuffin with egg, bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit, or bacon, egg, and cheese McGriddles. Get any two for just $5.
Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Selling our house, buying this house. What do we think? Negative me. Too much hassle. Control freak me. We leave nothing to chance. We get a cash offer from Zillow. Give me the clicker. No. Gim, 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 gim. Yeah. This was a love triangle. Wealthy older man, younger attractive gold digger, and her younger lover who happened to be a former football player in the NFL. Radio call came out, shots fired. Tonight, the 2020 true crime event on ABC. It's Empire Today's biggest sale. The 50-50-50 sale. 50% off carpet and flooring, 50% off padding and materials, and 50% off installation. That's right, half off your entire project. You can save thousands. Empire's 50-50-50 sale won't last long. Don't miss 50% off carpet and flooring, 50% off padding and materials, and 50% off installation. 800-588-2300-EMPIRE Today. Just outside of a town called Basic is Basic Lake. Where families gather together for some basic fun. And if you have the 2021 Nissan Rogue with five drive modes, you can climb above Basic and find a trail where no one else goes. The 2021 Nissan Rogue. Anything but Basic. Get a low 219 per month lease on Rogue or get 0% financing for up to 72 months on 13 models. Every year, over 200,000 women are diagnosed with breast cancer. Don't leave your health to chance. Tower Radiology offers the most comprehensive women's imaging services available. Schedule your mammogram online today. Comfort, care, and convenience. That's Tower. Imagine a salad made with fresh-cut vegetables and warm, hand-breaded chicken. Does that even exist? Not yet, because we don't make it until you order it. Try the new Southwest Salad, only at Zaxby's. Redeem rewards, scan to pay, order ahead on the Zaxby's app. I'm John Morgan. If you've been injured in a car accident, call Pound Law from your cell phone. Morgan & Morgan. Pound Law. That's all. We're here for the gearheads, the globetrotters, the adventure seekers, and the Sunday drivers. And let's not forget the nine to fivers. If you think you're paying too much on your current auto loan, you probably are. We can get you refinanced with fast local approval, helpful customer service, and a new rate as low as 1.89%. Come into your neighborhood branch or go online and apply at refiandride.com and you can get on the road to a lower car payment. Achieva, banking for good. It's the classic debate. Sizzling sausage or crispy bacon? Drive through McDonald's for a sausage McMuffin with egg, bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit, or bacon, egg, and cheese McGriddles. Get any two for just $5. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. ABC Action Weather, the most accurate weather team in Florida. Tampa Bay. Let's get your day started. This is ABC Action News, taking action for you. The search for Brian Laundrie expected to resume in a little over an hour in Sarasota County ahead. Why authorities wouldn't have been able to arrest him earlier this week, even if they had found him and why that has now changed. So there is an absolute significant increase in morbidity that's being seen in pregnant women due to COVID. Doctors say concerns about COVID-19 are growing for pregnant women. Now at 5.30, the new push to get them vaccinated as soon as possible. And this dog is one of many given to disabled military veterans by a Lutz charity ahead why the Cane Corso breed is perfectly suited for this job. Good morning, our community road show is in Lutz this morning. Now we play favorites on Fridays and this morning I'm going to show you how people in this community are stepping up to help their neighbors in so many ways. Lots of folks here in Lutz with big heart. Good morning, thank you so much for joining us. I'm Dia Riley. And I'm James Tully. Jason Adams is in for Sarah Finney watching the roads. Uh, Greg, Dia looks so comfortable out there. The, the wind blowing in her hair, the Beyonce look in boots is alive and well this morning. It is gorgeous out there, yeah. There oh, we go. Okay, all right. <laughs> Dia, Dia's had her coffee this morning. Uh, uh, she's ready to go. Lutz, good morning. I'm also playing favorites, starting off with that Lutz forecast, where the current temperature is 74 degrees. That's five degrees cooler than downtown Tampa. That's a difference that you definitely feel. Brandon, Riverview, Sun City Center, Apollo Beach in the mid-70s, 
Largo, Clearwater, Dunedin, over toward Oldsmar, all in the mid 70s in Pinellas County. Take a look at the north, Citrus County in the upper 60s, mid 70s, farther south towards Sebring and Wachula. Lutes, your personalized hour by hour forecast for today brings us into the upper 80s with partly to mostly sunny skies and very little in the way of rain. Tampa's rain planner for the afternoon coming up in just minutes. Jason, good morning. Hey, good morning, Greg. Good morning, everyone at home. Great news. Nice and quiet out there to start the day. Any earlier accidents that I reported on right at 5 a.m. have already been cleared. That's the I-4, I-75 ones if you missed that a second ago. And here's the Sunshine Skyway for you this morning. The commute coming in from the south to north. It's only going to take you 12, 13 minutes to get from the Skyway all the way to Howard Franklin. The bridges look just fine out there for us with no major concerns for you here across the area. I'll continue to keep you posted. Should anything develop, you can find more updates on air, of course, as we continue through the rest of the morning. But also at Twitter, at Tampa Bay Traffic is where I'll be posting updates through the morning as well. James? All right, Jason, thank you so much. First up, to the latest on Gabby Petito, the 22-year-old who was found murdered in Wyoming. An arrest warrant has been issued for, for her fiancé, Brian Laundrie, but it's not for murder. We anticipate the search for Brian to resume at dawn in Sarasota County. An indictment filed in Wyoming claims Laundrie committed fraud by using a debit card and PIN number that did not belong to him, with charges exceeding $1,000. Now, the indictment does not reveal who the card belonged to or what the card was used for, but it does reveal the charges were made between August 30th and September 1st, just days after Gabby's believed to have died. Despite the fact the police started looking for laundry six days ago, police would not have been able to detain him even if he had been found. This new federal warrant now grants them that power. Agencies are using drones, swamp buggies, and boats to search the Carlton Reserve for any signs of him. Meanwhile, a local law firm is trying to sweeten the deal in the search for laundry. Buhoff Law offering $20,000 for information that leads to his exact whereabouts. A reminder here, any tips about the case can be called into the number that is on your screen. It's listed there. I'll say it for you. 1-800-225-5324. 533 now. This morning, St. Pete police are asking you to be on the lookout for a 16-year-old girl and her one-month-old daughter. Officials tell us Stacy Montenegro was last seen September 4th in the Williams Park area. They say they're extremely concerned for her and her baby's safety. Now we call the department to learn who reported her missing and when. If you have seen Stacy, you want to call St. Pete police. A new warning. This morning for pregnant women, doctors say they're growing more concerned as more expectant mothers are being hospitalized for COVID-19. So we reached out to health experts to get more information for ourselves to help protect your family. ABC Action News reporter Larissa Scott finds out they're ramping up the push for vaccines. So there is an absolute significant increase in morbidity that's being seen in pregnant women due to COVID. That's one of many reasons doctors are so worried about pregnant women right now with the COVID-19 Delta variant proving to be particularly dangerous for them. That's because pregnancy makes you more immunocompromised, causing women to get much sicker if they get COVID-19. Experts say the infection can be much more severe and complicated. Doctors tell us they're seeing a concerning rise right now in pregnant women being hospitalized because of the virus. Increased number of women who are being put in ICUs, increased number of preterm births, and therefore also increased number of neonatal ICU admissions. Taking care of pregnant women and pregnant women with COVID, um, I see it day in and day out, um, the effect that that has on these women and their families. As those hospitalizations grow, the push to get more pregnant women vaccinated intensifies to potentially save not one, but two lives. At this point, researchers say the data now shows there's no increased risk for pregnant women to get vaccinated over the general population. And now there's been millions and millions of doses that have been given and the concerns, which I think were fair because this was so new, but they haven't really played out in, in any of the literature and any of the reporting systems. For information on how you you can get vaccinated across the Bay Area. Head to our website, abcactionnews.com, and check our coronavirus section. Reporting from Tampa, Larissa Scott, ABC Action News. Thank you so much, Larissa. Our community road show is in Lutz this morning. This community is home to an 11 acre facility dedicated to foster children. ABC Action News reporter Rebecca Petit looks into how a community effort allowed the foster home to remain a safe haven for kids in need. Only a matter of weeks before we have kids living in this house. For three decades, Joshua House has been a safe haven for kids who have been abused, neglected, or abandoned. When these kids get here, they're traumatized, they're hurting, they need some healing. These teenagers are, are feeling a lot of abandonment and frustration because 
you know, they just feel given up on. Dee Dee Grundell, the executive director of Friends of Joshua House Foundation, tells me they want to make sure children find a loving home and grow up to be productive members of society. But that was all in jeopardy in March 2020 when the former owners of Joshua House decided to move in another direction. Friends of Joshua House Foundation stepped up to buy the children's home and spent the last year restoring the property. We wanted to make certain that things were safe, the infrastructure was more up to date, and that we were able to provide a really nice welcoming home to these kids. The kids will have new bedrooms, renovated kitchens, and a computer lab. She tells me it would not have been possible if it weren't for the outpouring support from the community. Our community stepped up and said, what do you need? And provided it and addressed a big Amazon wish list and whittled it down and it just kept going. And all of this during COVID. The restoration of Joshua House also offers multiple providers under one roof, including therapists. What we're doing is creating a safeguard so that Joshua House can continue for decades and decades to come by making certain we have multiple providers, all with different specific skill sets. She says the goal is to continue to promote growth, stability, and support to Tampa Bay's most vulnerable citizens. In Lutz, Rebecca Petit, ABC Action News. And Lutz is a community full of people helping each other, neighbor helping neighbor. There is a nonprofit, another nonprofit here in Lutz that is designed to help military veterans by pairing them up with free service dogs. It's called Corsos for Heroes. The founder, Harry Toro, is a former boxer. He now breeds cane Corsos and gives them away to veterans around the country. He says their temperament makes them a perfect fit for veterans. We caught up with him as a local veteran who served in Afghanistan was getting his. Our dogs, what they do is they give you so much love. They're always following you. They, they want to work with you all the time. If he gets stressed out, the dog will you jump on him and just change everything automatically. You can read more about how this nonprofit is helping our heroes on abcactionnews.com slash loots. And the mission statement for Corsos for Heroes says they're dedicated to helping veterans and first responders return to civilian life after their service to our country ends. Doing such amazing work and we're just so appreciative of them. You know, I tell you, Lutz is a very small community, but people here have such a big heart. That's all they want to do. Neighbor helping neighbor here. It's such a spirit of community here. Big spirit of community, Greg. We're definitely seeing that so far, whether it's someone writing songs about the community or helping out veterans. There's a lot of good people. I've got another one for you right now, James. This was posted on my Facebook page yesterday by Tamara. Uh, this is a group called Watermelon Swim. Uh, they have several locations in the area, one in Dale Mabry, and she says that they just advocate for child water safety. They teach kids how to swim, how to be safe in a pool. And during the month of October, they actually have a pumpkin patch and they use the proceeds from that to help teach kids with disabilities about pool safety. What a great group. They're a great part of the Lutz community. Cooler air to our north. We'll talk about how much of that gets into our area coming up. Live look outside this morning as you take you over towards the Rivergate Tower. Not all that cool in downtown Tampa yet. I'll show you where the cooler temperatures are coming up. My mom, she had just said it to me out of the blue. She was like, Taylor, what if you wrote a book? And she did. This eighth grader, now a published author, coming up why her book isn't the only reason you might hear her name again in the future. And also coming up in the next hour at six, we're going to take you to a cafe in Lutz known for clean eating, friendship, and the power of prayer. Why the owner founded his business on those principles. Severe weather's closing in. The ABC Action News Storm Tracker hits the road for you. A weather station on wheels. The Storm Tracker shows you what's really going on outside. The ABC Action News Storm Tracker is sponsored by Weathertight Windows, Tampa Bay's replacement windows and doors headquarters. I see the future, but live for the moment. Makes sense, don't it? Huh. So like a stopwatch, let's stop time and enjoy this moment. When you find that perfect moment, make it last. Capture it, the rooms to go with. Cindy Crawford home. And the Sofia Vergara Furniture collection two great collections one great store rooms to go rooms to go we're here for the gearheads the globe trotters the adventure seekers and the sunday drivers 
And let's not forget the nine to fivers. If you think you're paying too much on your current auto loan, you probably are. We can get you refinanced with fast local approval, helpful customer service, and a new rate as low as 1.89%. Come into your neighborhood branch or go online and apply at refiandride.com and you can get on the road to a lower car payment. Achieva, banking for good. Getting the kids to soccer practice? Nice. Remembering to pay Sarah back for the team's jerseys. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Tapping to pay for some morning caffeination? No sweat. Look out! With a Wells Fargo checking account, you can bank without missing a beat. When it comes to safety, who has more 2021 IIHS Top Safety Pick Plus winning vehicles? The highest level of safety you can earn? Subaru. When it comes to longevity, who has the highest percentage of its vehicles still on the road after 10 years? Subaru. And when it comes to brand loyalty, who does J.D. Power rank number one in the automotive industry for three consecutive years? Subaru. It's easy to love a car you can trust. It's easy to love a Subaru. Looking for beautiful beaches with plenty of room? Daytona Beach is the place. When your time is right, we'll be waiting for you at the finish line. Plan your trip today at DaytonaBeach.com. Opioid overdoses kill more than 130 people a day in the U.S. alone. Addiction can occur in as little as five days. Talk to your doctor or dentist to see what's right for you and if there are alternative treatments. Because it only takes a little to lose a lot. Visit cfbhn.org for more information. Let's break it down one more time. You only pay if you win. Your case equals three unless we win you don't have to be a genius to hire america's largest injury law firm morgan and morgan as more home offices turn back into work commutes i am here for you from bridge drive times to interstate speeds to any traffic tie-up i'll help you find the quickest to easiest way to get around tampa bay abc action traffic is sponsored by farah and farah all right, this morning we're hearing from a mom who decided to pull her kindergartner out of the classroom after she was quarantined twice within just the first few weeks of school. Through the second quarantine, I just said, you know, I said, wow, she's, I'm not comfortable sending my child, my, my little baby, she's five years old, back to school with this. Um, the anxiety and just the fear that I felt, I, I was not comfortable sending her at all. Her daughter is a student in the Polk County School District. She thinks a mask mandate maybe could have prevented many quarantines. More than 19,000 students have been quarantined in Polk so far this year, and now quarantining is optional for students exposed to COVID-19. The Florida DOH issuing a new rule stating parents can choose to allow their kids who have been exposed to COVID-19 to remain in school as long as they do not have any symptoms. Tell you, big round of applause for Dia and our entire producing team. We are bringing you some stories of people in the area doing great things. It's the best part of our week and our community short showcases. Let's take you back out to Dia, who is live in Lutz. Hi, Dia. Hi, James. Yeah, I am live in Lutz this morning. The people that we meet on this community road show, that's the best part about it. And for me, you know, I always try to find amazing kids to shine a light on, and I found a superstar today. At the start of the school year, most kids get a reading list from their teacher featuring books that they're going to read in class. Well, at Lutz Preparatory School, the middle school students there can say that they personally know one of the authors on their list. I am so excited to add my first published author to my brag book this morning. I've always been a big reader and I'm a big writer, you know, ELA is my favorite subject and I remember a lot of the times when I would read books I would always wonder what would it be like to, you know, be the person who wrote this book. I remember one day I came home from school and my mom, she had just said it to me out of the blue, she was like, Taylor, what if you wrote a book? And just like that, her first book, Mama Said, came to life. Mama said it's about me, but a fictional me, and it's based off of like how I tend to overthink a lot. As 
most kids her age do. Taylor's friends love her book. Taylor's always been a passionate person, and I'm really proud of her. Although they admit it took them a while to find out about her book. In fact, no one at her school knew until her mama let it slip. We were in the midst of a ceremony, a war ceremony, where Taylor was getting uh, for her grades, act actually, and I was able to highlight it at that point to say, hey, everyone. Here's Taylor Jackson. She wrote it. She's an author and a published off author, and, and she was so embarrassed. <laughs> Unfortunately, but it was so funny, and, and it was great to be able to, again, just to highlight those things that the kids typically would not. Assistant Principal Brian Bethune says Lutz Preparatory School is committed to bringing out the best in all their students. With our kids here, they have so many talents and gifts that we don't have any clue what they, you know, what they are until they show it to us. But we do try to give them those opportunities to uh, to shine and that's mainly through our leader and me program and taylor's leading the way both in the classroom and outside it Let's go, Taylor! in addition to writing books taylor's also solidifying her name in a few history books i run the 100 meter dash the 200 meter dash and the 400 meter dash and not just run you win how many races have you won you like hold some records don't you uh yes i believe so in the 200 meter dash i was one of the fastest runners for my age group taylor's star is just beginning to rise and if we're lucky we'll all get a front row seat on her journey through more stories if you know a child like Taylor who is deserving of a public pat on the back, I want to know about them. Email me or send me a message on Facebook. Hey, guys, Taylor is the youngest of four Jackson girls. Got three older sisters. She says there is no sibling rivalry. They're all amazing, all awesome athletes and awesome students. But she says... She's the best. They all know that. She's the favorite in the, in the family. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's usually great. What, what happens when you have a bunch of siblings, isn't it? <laughs> if you ask any of them, they're the best. They're the best of the favorite. She sounds so mature, <laughs> just incredible. She does. Uh, she uh, when does. you listen to her speak, it just she just sounds like she has a wealth of knowledge, and she's uh, just so willing to share it. Uh, amazing uh, young lady there. Good morning, everybody. If you're waking up in Citrus County, you're lucky because you've got temperatures in the 60s out there this morning. First widespread 60s across Citrus County of this fall season. We'll still be up in the mid to upper 80s for the afternoon. If you're heading out to the Springs, maybe doing a little kayaking on the Gulf, uh, maybe heading down towards Weeki in Hernando County. It looks fantastic today. Sunny skies north of Tampa. No rain out there through the afternoon. Yesterday's front, you can kind of see it uh, draped right across the state of Florida. Now, because we're just to the north of it, we're not really getting all that dry air that uh, is coming in behind it. Dew points are down in the 60s in Crystal River, but everywhere else, generally in the 70s. And if you're down towards Northport, Arcadia, Sarasota, well, not much of a change for you folks with dew points in the mid 70s. Northerly breezes, however, will continue light throughout today, tomorrow, and into Sunday. And eventually, that northerly breeze will start to tap into some of that drier air to the north. So I do think even in Tampa, those dew points will fall back into the 60s, but that's probably not going to happen until maybe Saturday afternoon, but more likely during the day on Sunday. Upper 80s, low 90s today, a mix of clouds and sun south of I-4. I can't rule out a pop-up shower. Better chances for some drier air and lower rain chances as we head into Sunday and the start of next week. Jason? And we're looking pretty good out there for the morning commute. We had a couple of overnight accidents, one eastbound I-4 in Plant City that has been cleared, another I-75 northbound at the apex, the northern apex. That has been cleared, too. So let's talk about Pinellas County, I-275 from the Sunshine Skyway to the Howard Franklin. Going to take you less than 15 minutes as we're in the green here. No incidents to report for those of you in Pinellas County at this time. And if you're coming in from Plant City, like I said, eastbound had an accident in Plant City earlier. Westbound into Tampa looks just fine right now. Let's keep our fingers crossed that this Friday morning commute continues to stay this way here over the next couple of hours. Dia. Thank you, Jason. 10 minutes till 6 now. Coming up, a teenager here in Lute is making sure that other girls in school have access to basic essential supplies to stay healthy. What she has already given to fellow students and her plans for the future. That's coming up. And more and more Americans are spending money on their pets' social media posts. Many hope to attract a sponsor ahead. What well, you should consider before spending any money and a free option. C Action News is sponsored by Lexus of Wesley Chapel, exclusive home of the Lexus Lifetime Plan. With more days to play and more ways to win, Powerball just got more powerful.
Play the new Powered Up Powerball from the Florida Lottery. It's your ticket. Claim it! There are a lot of ways to offer hope. Our way is by donating a portion of every Hyundai sold to Hyundai Hope on Wheels to help find a cure for childhood cancer. So families can come home for good. Hope is our greatest feature, and it comes standard on every Hyundai. Looking for beautiful beaches with plenty of room? Daytona Beach is the place. When your time is right, we'll be waiting for you at the finish line. Plan your trip today at DaytonaBeach.com. You can't wait for the future to come to you. You've got to reach out and take it. With some of the world's brightest minds, Advent Health is reimagining care today. And moving health forward in ways once never thought possible. So you can feel whole for your whole life. We're here for the gearheads, the globetrotters, the adventure seekers, and the Sunday drivers. And let's not forget the nine to fivers. If you think you're paying too much on your current auto loan, you probably are. We can get you refinanced with fast local approval, helpful customer service, and a new rate as low as 1.89%. Come into your neighborhood branch or go online and apply at refiandride.com and you can get on the road to a lower car payment. Achieva, banking for good. One in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer at some point during her life. From initial screenings to an accurate diagnosis, you can count on Tower Radiology for dependable care. Schedule your mammogram online today. Tower Radiology, setting the standard in radiology. Let's break it down one more time. You only pay if you win. Your case equals three unless we win. See? Relatively easy. You don't have to be a genius to hire America's largest injury law firm, Morgan & Morgan. See what I did there? No? Time now, 5.54 on this Friday morning. Good morning, everybody. Getting the kids ready for the bus stop. Still warm and humid. Temperatures in the 70s, upper 80s for the afternoon. Some near 90, but there's not going to be much rain around. A look at your weekend forecast is coming up. Do you? All right, thank you so much, Greg. Now to an inspirational mission that started during the pandemic. A teen here in Lutz saw a need and she jumped right in to help. She learned that fellow students were struggling to afford basic hygiene products. I profiled Anya Patel last year when she launched periods during a pandemic. No girl left behind and we caught up with her recently to find out how her mission's been going. She is still hard at work collecting and donating more than 20,000 sanitary pads to teenagers in Hillsborough County Schools. Even in a developed country like America, one in five students struggle to afford these basic necessities of menstrual hygiene products. And these conditions are even worse right now because of this current COVID-19 pandemic. And after learning about all of this, I just felt really inspired to take action within my community. Yeah, in a big way. Anya is continuing her mission through the Global Girls Initiative, a nonprofit that she started. You can read more about her efforts and how you can help her 
by going to abcactionnews.com slash lutes. Anya is such an amazing girl, and she's an awesome student, too, James. It sure seems like it. Well, this is an interesting story, Dia. American pet owners spend an average of $1,100 a year on pet supplies. And for many, some of that money goes towards props to create better pet pics on social media. A new survey from Lending Tree shows nearly 30% of pet owners are spending money on this, with Gen Z and millennials being the most likely to do it. You can make a profit if you get recognized by a brand, but you can't count on that. The best bet is to do your research and reach out to brands before spending money on props for a social media post. And if you just have 500 or 1,000 followers, but every single one of them are bought in and involved and passionate about your pet or their pet, then that can still attract a little bit of attention. Keep a budget in mind when shopping for props like Halloween costumes. You shouldn't be giving up other things your pet needs in place of those social media investments. And candid pictures of your pet in front of brands you already own can attract sponsors' attention. Okay, Dia, back out to you. All right, thank you, James. Coming up new at 6, Sarah Finney checks out the entertainment at Lake Conservation Park. What you need to know about this trail if you visit the park during the rainy season. And, you know, a lot can change in five years. The city of Lutz can attest to that. The change is happening here that's putting this community in the spotlight. Severe weather's closing in. The ABC Action News Storm Tracker hits the road for you. A weather station on wheels. The Storm Tracker shows you what's really going on outside. The ABC Action News Storm Tracker is brought to you by Stadium Toyota. Go to MarkSpain.com to get a guaranteed offer on your home today and start packing. It's the classic debate. Sizzling sausage or crispy bacon? drive through McDonald's for a sausage McMuffin with egg, bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit, or bacon, egg, and cheese McGriddles. Get any two for just $5. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Okay, listen up. Selling our place, buying this place. Thoughts? Negative me. No. Shouldn't have started with you. Spontaneous me. Already ordering drapes. Antisocial me. Uh, lazy me. We gotta sell our place, sort out finances. Well, uh, stressed me. <laughs> Does anybody have anything helpful? Helpful me. We don't need to stress about lining it all up. Zillow can help with that. And that's why you're my favorite me. 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 Oh, yeah. I've always been inspired by possibility, taking elements that exist and putting them together to create something new. Rooms to Go understands the power of this. With Rooms to Go, you can easily make the most of every space. Whether you want a place to share or somewhere just for you, the incredible styles, colors, fabrics means you can always find the perfect something. And the best part, you can do it all within budget, whether you shop online or at a store near you. Anything's possible at Rooms to Go. It's the classic debate. Sizzling sausage or crispy bacon? drive through McDonald's for a sausage McMuffin with egg, bacon, egg, and cheese biscuit, or bacon, egg, and cheese McGriddles. Get any two for just $5. Ba-da-ba-ba-ba. Consumer reporter Jackie Calloway, part of the ABC Action News I team. It breaks my heart because, you know, he's been through so much. I saw your picture and I said, this is who I have to call. God bless Jackie Calloway. Jackie Calloway, taking action for you. Good morning, Tampa Bay. Let's get your day started. This is ABC Action News, taking action for you. Now at 6, there's now a federal warrant to arrest Gabby Petito's fiancé, but first, officers still need to find him. We're live in Sarasota County, where search crews are gearing up for another long day of looking. And boosters may be available as early as today, but only to select people. Good morning, Lutz. It is your time to shine. Yeah, we play favorites on Fridays, and I cannot wait to show you why this community is so special. We have spent the last few weeks working really hard to find the hidden gems here in Luke and in Lutz, including this historic schoolhouse where I am right now. If you travel on Highway 41, then you have no doubt seen it. We're also going to tell you about a cafe here in Lutz that really does give you food for your body and also your soul. Such a great story here. The owner has an amazing testimony. Good morning, Tampa Bay. In particular, good morning, Lutz. I'm Dia Riley, live in Lutz, ready to shine a spotlight on this awesome community. Just some great stories ahead here in Lutz. I'm James Tully, back in the studio. Jason Adams is in for Sarah Finney to round out the week. And Greg D., of course, he's settled up 
in the Weather Center. How are we looking today? Uh, looking really good, James. Uh, good morning, Lutz. I'm playing favorite to, uh, with you as well this morning, starting with your forecast. There's a current temperature right there in Lutz, uh, right there at the top of Hillsborough County, uh, part of Lutz in southern uh, Pasco County. I've gotten a couple questions about that. What part of Lutz are you talking about? There's a Pasco and Hillsborough Lutz, 77 over towards Pinellas Park, 79 downtown St. Pete, 77 in Sun City Center, 74 over towards Plant City. Elsewhere, look at the mid 60s in Crystal River. Front settled in over the area yesterday, but the cooler weather is lagging behind it up towards the north. Citrus County is the only place that's getting it right now. I do think, though, that we'll head south as we head through the weekend just a little bit. Lutz, your personalized hour of hour forecast for today still brings us up to near 90 degrees. And yeah, that humidity, it's going to be up. I'll take you to Tampa's hour by hour just a few minutes away. Jason, how are the roads looking? Roads are looking just fine. By the way, Greg, mom and dad live just north of Destin. They have temperatures down to 50 wow. this morning in the panhandle. So we're that close. You know those fronts are coming. And of course, Greg will let you know when the next one's on its way. But before we get there, here's what your forecast looks like as far as the morning commute goes. Now we're looking at I-275 southbound from the apex. No issues here, but you guys know as well as I do as we approach 7 o'clock, volume picks up and that's when we start to see some delays developing. So if you can get out the door in the next few minutes, you shouldn't have any issues. And we're not looking at any incidents to report here. I-75 coming up from Big Bend all the way to the Selman and I-4. So it looks pretty good. We had a couple of overnight accidents. They have since been cleared. So right now at least there are no issues, but should those issues pop up, of course we'll give them to you on air here as well as of course Twitter. You can find me there at Tampa Bay Traffic on Twitter. Jason, thank you. First up here at six, law enforcement has a new mission. Find and arrest Brian Laundrie, the only person of interest in Gabby Petito's death. A federal grand jury has indicted him for unauthorized use of a debit card after Gabby went missing. ABC Action News reporter Chad Mills is in Northport where the search for Brian is going to start up again this morning following these new revelations. Good morning, Chad. Good morning, James, and it's probably safe to say that officers from this department and others will have a renewed sense of purpose when the search begins again in just a couple hours from now. And that is because of what the FBI office out of Denver, Colorado, announced last night. A federal grand jury over in Wyoming indicted Brian, meaning there's now a warrant, a federal warrant for his arrest. He's being charged with use of unauthorized access devices. According to the indictment, Brian used a Capital One debit card he wasn't authorized to use to withdraw more than $1,000 after Gabby's death near Grand Teton National Park in Wyoming. According to the paperwork, Brian used that debit card, quote, knowingly and with intent to defraud. Paperwork does not say who the card belonged to. Meanwhile, the search for Brian here in Florida will continue this morning at Carlton Reserve, a swampy wilderness that's been a tough assignment for law enforcement, but they have dozens of boots on the ground and tools like swamp buggies. These swamp buggies are important for us because you're at higher altitude looking down and you can get into the deeper water, the deeper marsh. Uh, about 75% of this area is underwater, so we can't see how deep it is. A couple quick numbers for you real quick. Yesterday, crews used four of those swamp buggies. 75 people helped in the search from 16 different law enforcement agencies. We are expecting to see a similar operation out there at the reserve this morning. We will bring you live updates from the reserve as that search begins. Live in Northport, Chad Mills, ABC Action News. Chad, thanks a lot. And more than half a dozen law enforcement agencies are now assisting in that search for Brian Laundry. We're told the collaboration of local agencies is really crucial in cases like this. Easy to understand why. Here's an example. The Lee County Sheriff's Office has been using their latest drone technology. It's called the Dragonfish drone. It's assisting in the search. This drone is it's pretty incredible. It has the capability to fly nearly 19 miles from the operator. The battery lasts two hours and the camera on it watches for heat seeking things down on the ground. Sheriff Carmine Maceno says that whether it's day or night, there is no hiding from this thing. It's able to scan a 25,000 square, you know, parcel that may be underwater. You may have trees, debris, grass, whatever it may be, but still be heat seeking. So if someone happens to be hiding or there is a person somewhere, we're going to find them. 
A drone can do a lot of things a helicopter can, but it does it at a fraction of the cost. And the sheriff says Lee County is the only agency assisting that's able to provide something like this to the search. Make sure to download our ABC Action News app to stay up to date throughout the day on the Gabby Petito case, because if anything, big breaks will push it right out to your mobile device. Also breaking overnight, the CDC has cleared the way for millions of Americans to get the COVID-19 vaccine booster shots as early as today. Earlier this morning, the CDC director overruled her own panel to include frontline workers in this group that's now eligible for the boosters. Americans 65 and older who got the Pfizer vaccine can get a dose six months after their second shot. And data shows 13 million people are eligible today. The CDC also will allow adults 18 and older with medical conditions that put them at a high risk to get a booster as well. Officials will review the need for boosters for Moderna and other Pfizer recipients in the coming weeks. If you're looking for a job and you enjoy organic foods, Sprouts Farmers Market holding a two-day hiring event. The chain accepting walk-in interviews today and tomorrow from 9 a.m. until 7 p.m. both days. Sprouts looking to fill positions including cashiers and managers ahead of the holiday season. And if you're hired, you do get in-store discounts. Every Friday we meet our neighbors in a different part of the Bay Area. Today, Dia meeting some really great people in Lutz. Good morning, Dia. Uh, good morning, James. This is an awesome community. It is small but mighty. So much history here. I'm set up right now at the old Loot School, an historic landmark in this community. It's situated right on Highway 41. It's right on, right on what I like to call School Road because there are three separate schools on this stretch of Highway 41 within a mile of each other. The old Loot School is an historic landmark. It is right out in front of the current Loot's K-8 through school. This school was built back in 1927. It has four classrooms down, four classrooms classrooms downstairs and an auditorium upstairs. In 1975, a group of people got together to save this landmark and preserve its history. Now it's cared for by a nonprofit. That nonprofit holds events here at the school too. They decorate for Christmas. They do it at big tier. Uh, the caretaker is out here with me this morning. Uh, I'm told that they start the first weekend in November. So if you would like to come out and help, they would love to have you out here. You can read more about this school's history and find out how to get involved on abcactionnews.com slash loots. And right behind the old loot school is the current loots K-8 school, and it is home to one awesome history teacher. She brings history to life. I profiled Jennifer Schaefer before the pandemic. I had heard about her from my kids' friends about how she produces Hamilton-like plays, you know, to get the kids in her classroom excited about history. History is been boring in the past. I can't tell you how many adults have said, I opened my textbook, I read it, it was boring. And I'm like, but it doesn't have to be that way, you know? No, it doesn't, thanks to her. When I profiled her before the pandemic, she had already written seven plays. She even incorporated MC Hammer's dance moves into a Charles Dickens classic. <laughs> I mean, it was awesome. You know, I'm also, I'm, I'm out here with Sean Daly as well. He is just across US Highway 41 from me. He's at Deb's Whistle Stop Depot and tea. It's a tea garden. Cannot wait to talk to him and find out more about this really cool attraction that I bet a lot of folks in Lutz didn't even know about. So we're gonna get all the scoop on that coming up, James. Looking forward to it, Dia. In the meantime, let's do one quick check in with Greg D as we close out the week, hopefully with some nice weather here, buddy. Uh, looking really good out there this morning, James. A couple of scattered clouds looking down towards South Tampa from the Rivergate Tower. Got the Selman there at the bottom of your screen, Bay Shore in the middle of the screen, and then the lights of McDill Air Force Base well in the distance on the left side. Uh, looking good so far. We just missed out on the last uh, cold front that just moved by. It did clear Tampa. But the colder weather is lagging to the north. Look at Tallahassee at 58 this morning, 54 in Mobile, 61 in Jacksonville, 75 in Orlando, 78 in downtown Tampa. Closer to home, Crystal River, the only place that's seeing the cooler temperatures now. The temperature there is 66. Everyone else is in the mid-70s. Nice north breeze today. There is some drier air above us that will reduce the amount of pop-up showers this afternoon. I think we'll see partly sunny skies for most temperatures still near 90 degrees. I do think some of that drier air does filter down over the course of the weekend. How it will impact your weekend forecast, that's coming up just a few minutes away. Jason? 
And we are looking at a decent commute for you. Here's a live look at the Howard Franklin right now, showing you no issues out there coming across the bay from Pinellas County into Hillsborough County. It's taking you about eight minutes, so speeds likely 55 to 65 here, if not faster, because again, no volume delays at this time, but you know that's on its way. So if you can get out the door earlier so you can avoid that here on your Friday morning, because right now again, it's 10 minutes or less to cross any of our area bridges. That also includes the Sunshine Skyway from Manatee to Pinellas County or vice versa from Pinellas County South. So that's what it's looking like out there. We'll continue to keep you posted and I'll update you if there are any traffic incidents. You can find more on Twitter at Tampa Bay Traffic. Yes, this is that touchable hold secret recipe. No more shea and sweet almond glow. That ready for anything vitamin infused shade of perfection. That all natural mood that breathe deep and let it go moment. That gentle but effective go to that you just found out. I thought you knew. This is the best of black owned beauty made for everyone. Stanley Steamer cleans your whole home. All you gotta do is pick up the phone. It's not just carpet anymore. It's tile, wood, stone, really any floor. Call 1-800-STEAMER now. We'll clean your home and you'll say, wow. Life doesn't stop for diabetes. Be ready for every moment with Glucerna. It's the number one doctor recommended brand that's scientifically designed to help manage your blood sugar. Live every moment. Glucerna. ABC Action News is sponsored by the Golden Diamond Source. You want a quality, low-priced car from the comfort of wherever. At Echo Park Automotive, we echo that. Our vehicles are always the lowest price, up to $3,000 less than our competition. Shop online today at echopark.com. That's right. You can switch to a Care Plus Medicare Advantage plan and get money back on your Medicare Part B premium. That's good. And Care Plus earned a five-star rating from Medicare. Care Plus offers all the benefits of original Medicare plus more. Even help paying for groceries. I can help you choose a plan. Call or go online today to enroll. Don't you deserve a five-star plan? Where do you find beauty? Us, we find it in Forward. The constant perpetual progress of one simple investment, one simple number, advancing, multiplying, flourishing. Our self-managed online platform is built to move you forward. By smartly growing your savings over time, connecting where you are now to where you want to be. That's the power of GameBridge. Start now at GameBridge.life. It's your heads up. It's your backup. It's your forward thinking, never blinking, always at the ready step up. The Hyundai Sonata. It's your journey. Own it. Now lease a Sonata for $199 a month or get 0% APR or up to 1500 cash back. Visit buyhyundai.com today. We've got a problem, America. Junk sleep is what you get from a bed that isn't right for you. Keep calling Kevin Keith. Junk sleep. Left your laptop on the bus? Junk sleep. Can't straight think? Slunk Jeep. What you need is real sleep. So maybe it's time to ask yourself, did you get out of the wrong side of bed this morning? Or the wrong bed altogether? Mattress Fur. Unjunk your sleep. When Floridians prepare for hurricane season, they make a list. At the top of that list should be windows from Window World. Our hurricane impact windows are double paint, shatter resistant, and engineered to withstand category five winds, rain, and airborne debris. With Window World on your list, you're not just well prepared, you're well protected. For a free estimate, call your Tampa Window World today at 800 Get Windows. The best part of pick of the pick combos at Sonny's, there's no wrong way to pick them. Pick two or three of your barbecue favorites with sides and bread starting at $11.99 at ordersonnies.com. Sonny's Barbecue, local pit masters since 68. Back at 6.15 with a fun caught on camera on this Friday, a grinning gator posing for a sewer selfie. This police officer in Palm Bay and Brevard County responded to a call about a gator that was stuck. The officer 
took a selfie, and just as the pic is snapped, the gator smiled. The Florida Fish and Wildlife reminds everybody, don't feed a gator and call them immediately. Just a side note here, no animals or officers were harmed in this photo. If you ever take a selfie with a gator, Dia, do it at that distance, <laughs> which looks like it could have been at least uh -huh. 20 feet. Uh, I'm not even sure I'd do it that close. Well, speaking yeah, of Dia, don't do it at all. Yeah, I agreed. She's in loot. <laughs> She's got the wind blowing in her hair, glistening this morning. It's our latest stop on our community <laughs> tour. Oh my gosh, you know, we've got fans out here trying to blow the mosquitoes away. That's that's what you're seeing out here. It's not the wind. <laughs> hey, this unincorporated part of Hillsborough County is 15 miles north of Tampa. It really does teeter right on the Hillsborough Pasco County line. Uh, I'm outside the old Loot Schoolhouse. This historic landmark is right on Highway 41 and not far away is Deb's Whistle Stop Depot. If you travel on Highway 41 at all, then you have no doubt seen this building. Uh, the bright orange building is a showstopper. It's got a really cool, colorful mural on the side of it. It is a furniture slash general store slash tea room all under one metal roof. So we sent our Sean Daly there this morning to check it out. And Sean, I'll bet a lot of people here in Lutz don't even know about this hidden gem. Oh, you are right, Dia Riley. First of all, look how classy and refined I am. Look at this. I'm in a tea room. It's about time, guys. Yes, we're at the Whistle Stop Gardens Tea Room. This is the lovely Anna next to me here. It's so cool. Tell me about this fun little nook, this little hamlet here. Well, this tea room opened about five years ago, and we do all kinds of celebrations for people. So they'll schedule in for a bridal shower, a baby shower, whatever, and we serve them um, basically what Americans call a high tea. It's a, it's a luncheon, and it has um, salad and scones, cream, sandwiches, and dessert. What do you call those fancy little cucumber sandwiches? Isn't there like a fancy little name for that or well, something? Ours are lemon dill cucumber, but that's all we call it. Wow. And, and in England, they're uh, cucumber and butter. So we like ours better. I feel very underdressed per usual to be in the Whistle Stop Gardens Tea Room. Do you ask people to wear like nice clothes and stuff like that? We're in Lutz, and so... <laughs> Some well, we're in loot, so, you know, T-shirt's optional. Yeah, we have we have some people come real dressed up, but we have had people come in boots and blue jeans. Yeah. Um, and we get a lot of tourists. They'll be in shorts, so there is not a dress requirement, fortunately. What do you love about, like, I make a lot of tea at home. I love green tea. But what do you love about the ritual of tea and of tea rooms? Well, a lot of people who come to our tea room, they haven't tried many different teas. They are used to just a black tea or a green tea. And we have a lot of different herbal teas. Um, and a lot of them are for health. And so, um, you know, if they if they need a certain type of tea and they can tell me something special, then a lot of times I can fix a tea that's special for them. And we always have about 25 different kinds. So yeah. they get to sample a lot of different teas. I need to come back for the full regalia. The full, look at this guys, look at how refined I am. Mmm, I love it. I feel so classy. Finally, <laughs> decades later, I'm classy. Dia, come on down. I'll buy you a spot of tea. Come on. Uh, <laughs> I love it, Sean. You do look classy. Hey, a piece of advice here. Don't break anything. You know, our budget is not that big for these road shows, so don't <laughs> like a break anything. Like China shop. <laughs> <laughs> I know. <laughs> hey, Greg, do you got to tell Sean that one? Oh, uh, that's, uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. No pub crawl today from Sean. Going to be nice and caffeinated, though, through the morning. Hey, I've gotten some great responses on my Facebook page for a What's Good Lutz segment, including a couple of dogs. Uh, Mary sent in a picture of her pup. The, that pup is in Lutz. And then this is Carlita and Dominic sent in by Diane. A couple of Lutz residents love seeing all the dogs from Lutz. If you live in Lutz, you've got a pet a photo that you want me to share with folks here on the show, email it to me or post it on my Facebook page. Just look for the what's good loots post or pinned right to the top also looking for shout outs for great businesses or just great people that make loot such a great community this afternoon polk county temperatures in the mid to upper 80s a couple of scattered clouds out there uh, we are going to see the humidity remain relatively high especially i4 south the drier air has yet to really get south of i4 i'll show you it is on the way but it's got a little bit ways to go in terms of rainfall though this is an improvement 
pretty much nothing. Rain chances below 10% in Polk County today. As far as the weekend goes, about a 20% chance for a pop up around Tampa on Saturday. Then those rain chances down to 10% on Sunday. This is a great weekend to get out to the pool, the beach. Don't worry about the rain. It's not going to be a huge impact. The drier air just to our north. The front has basically stopped is what this indicates, but there is some north wind that'll try to push that air a little farther south, that drier air. There's the front. You can kind of see a little line of showers here. Some clouds stretching just south of the Bay Area. Dew points are cooler. They're uh, drier up towards the north. And with a north breeze throughout the weekend, slowly but surely, that drier air will trickle in here bit by bit. It really takes a lot of work to get any kind of fall weather down here this time of year. We're not going to feel much of it today. Temperature is still in the low 90s, dew points in the 70s. But I think overnight and into tomorrow morning, Maybe some 60s down into Pasco and Hernando County briefly Saturday. Saturday afternoon still warm, but look at all the sunshine with temperatures back up there into the low 90s. As we look at the next uh, seven days on Florida's most accurate seven day forecast, low rain chances and plenty of sunshine as we head out into the weekend. Jason. Well, we are talking about a few issues out there for us this morning, but thankfully the Veterans Express Memorial Parkway where yesterday we had multiple accidents. Nice and clear right now. Speeds running 55 to 60 miles per hour. No issues all the way down from Gun Highway south to I-275 this morning. So as far as drive times go in this area, we're looking at less than 10 minutes from Gun Highway south. And overall, we expect these conditions to remain the same, barring any traffic accidents. But volume will pick up here over the next 45 minutes to an hour. We could begin to see some slowdowns at that time. As we look at your area, I-4 east, and westbound looking pretty good, but this is the drive times westbound anywhere from Plant City West. You're not going to have any issues this morning until you get to the Selman Expressway. Of course, when you get to I-4, I-275 interchange at the junction and a little bit of a slowdown there. But right now things are budding pretty smoothly out there this morning. James. All right. Thank you, Jason. Good to hear that. Well, up next, we go back to Dee Riley live in Lutz as Sarah Finney takes us back to one of her favorite parts and parks in Lutz with a walking club rewind. Here's a look at your Tampa Bay Area Drive Times. After a crash, you need an experienced attorney in your corner. Insurance companies will try to settle for as little as possible. They'll use every excuse to avoid paying a valid claim. At Fair and Farrah, we'll fight their excuses with facts. Go to MarkSpain.com to get a guaranteed offer on your home today and start packing. It's Ram Power Days at Jim Brown Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram. New Ram trucks, 0% for 72 months, plus no payments for 90 days. Our best deals of the year with our lifetime warranty and 4.6 Google rating. At Jim Brown. With an E. Jim Brown! Every year, over 200,000 women are diagnosed with breast cancer. Don't leave your health to chance. Tower Radiology offers the most comprehensive women's imaging services available. Schedule your mammogram online today. Comfort, care, and convenience. That's Tower. Happy anniversary to us and to you. Because during the Hudson's Furniture 40th anniversary sale, we like to celebrate with huge savings. For a limited time, save 40% off. Plus, save $40 off every $400 you spend. Plus, 40-month interest-free financing. Or take $700 off any tempur mattress set. For the hottest designer brands and Florida's lowest prices, celebrate with us at the 40th anniversary sale only at Hudson's Furniture. Add slow motion. It makes your commercial more cinematic, they tell me. Yeah, but insurance companies and juries care more about medical malpractice trial expertise, not cinematic slow motion. My barbershop is a reflection of what we're doing here in Florida. Bills are getting paid, the doors are still open, the air is still blowing, and the phone is still ringing. And I'm very grateful for that. The leadership in Florida, man, they got us going. They took us from a place of being helpless to a place of hope. They made the uncertainty certain again. I'm a Florida-owned business, and Florida is built for opportunity. We've seen it all here at Precision Garage Door. When garage doors fail, they can block you in the garage. You might have someone come out, and first thing they do is give you an option for a new door, where I could give you an option on fixing the door that you have. I want to be their trusted advisor. Precision Door Service, the name you can trust. Let a SunTrust checking account show you what it can do, like giving you cash back on debit card purchases from your favorite retailers. So sit back, earn, and enjoy the show. 
Jeep Adventure Days at Jim Brown Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram. Save $4,000 plus three years of no-cost maintenance on new Jeeps. Our best deal of the year with our lifetime warranty and 4.6 Google rating. At Jim Brown. With an E. Jim Brown! We get it. This past year has been hard. That feeling of uncertainty, not knowing what will happen next. And it's easy to want to shut everything out. But good things, important things are happening around us every day. It's our commitment to tell you those stories so you know. No matter how bad things might seem, there's always something worth knowing about. Always something to look forward to. We're going to get through this soon. Until then, just know we're here for you. We're not going anywhere. This morning, I'm in Lutz. Today's stop on our community tour. The pandemic has given us all the opportunity to explore more of the Bay Area, and many of you have been getting ideas from Sarah's Walking Club. And today, we're going to revisit one of her favorites here in Lutz. Lake Conservation Park really has something for everyone. The 600 acre park is right off of Dale Mabry, just south of Van Dyke. You'll find plenty of ways to entertain yourself and the kids too. There's a BMX track, horse arena, RC track, archery range, equestrian trails, canoe and kayak rentals, fishing, and of course, places to walk. Visitors can enjoy a 1.5 mile trail with fitness stations along the way so you can really step up your workout, but be prepared to dodge some puddles after storms and during the rainy season. You can find more information about Lake Conservation Park right here on abcactionnews.com slash walking club. And that's also where you can find links for the fall scavenger hunt as well as the Facebook group and the walking club newsletter. Oh, that's weird. Hey, our tour around Lutz is not over yet. Still ahead, James, how about some barbecue? Yeah, we like barbecue early in the morning. So you're going to meet the couple behind one of my favorite station house barbecue. Dear, you had me, it's still ahead. Also coming up, more <laughs> news, weather, and traffic when Good Morning Tampa Bay continues at 6.30. ABC Action Traffic is sponsored by Farrah and Farrah. When you or a loved one have been injured, an experienced attorney can make a huge difference. Call 1-800-FL-LEGAL. At Advent Health Tampa, our physicians provide specialized care to help you feel whole. Like minimally invasive cardiac procedures that heal your heart faster. And visionary brain mapping technology for more precise neurosurgery. We deliver life-changing outcomes at the region's newest and largest surgical destination. This is expertise that revolves around you. Badcock Home Furniture and More knows what it means to find the perfect fit. That just right comfort. That just right feeling. And at our Fall into Comfort Sale, you'll also find your just right style. Treat yourself to a king-size mattress at a queen-size price and other savings for every room of your home, all with no credit refused. Save on comfort this fall, only at Badcock. Badcock Home Furniture and More. Just right. With more days to play and more ways to win, Powerball just got more powerful. Play the new Powered Up Powerball from the Florida Lottery. It's your ticket. Claim it! Breaking news. Nine out of ten people seeing this now will qualify for low-cost and even free health insurance. This will allow more Americans to afford to protect their families. But you must act today. With COVID on the rise, it is more dangerous than ever to be uninsured. Call now to access lower-cost or free health insurance. Call to claim the money that you are entitled to. But you must call now. This is real health insurance. Plans with no deductible, free doctor visits, free blood work, prescription drugs, as little as $1, and much, much more. Call now. Get the money that you are entitled to. Most families pay less than $50 a month for full and complete coverage, but you must act now. Call 877-823-4390 or text ACA to 67076. 877-823-4390. ABC Action News is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan. 
Good morning, Tampa Bay. Let's get your day started. This is ABC Action News, taking action for you. Right now, 630, multiple agencies gearing up to continue their search for Brian Laundrie. We're going to look deeper into the meaning behind the federal charge that has been issued for him for the missing fiance of Gabby Petito. Business is growing here in Lutz. Uh, we play favorites on Fridays. Lutz, it is your time to shine. Coming up, how this community has undergone such a drastic change in just the last five years. And also, September is National Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, and a local seventh grader is leading the fight to find a cure. Why this is personal for him. Good morning, Tampa Bay. I'm Dia Riley, live outside the old Lutz Schoolhouse, an historic landmark in this community built back in 1927. And James, Greg, I, I got to tell you guys, we were out here talking just a second ago with a caretaker, the building's caretaker. He was sharing some ghost stories with us when all of a sudden a piece of our equipment just crashed to the ground. I love it. We all stood here thinking, time to run. Oh, <laughs> that is great, Greg. <laughs> Well, you know, we got a little little time until Halloween, but I'm a sucker for a great ghost story. Ooh, this is good. Dia, keep the cameras rolling out there. Let's see if we can capture something. Yeah. Greg, what do you think? A little movement, maybe a little flash of light somewhere in the background there behind Dia. That is really cool. Now I'm in. Now I'm in. There could be ghosts around Dia. Maybe they'll pop up during one of her shots. Uh, always be checking behind you, Dia. They're out there. 74 degrees right now. Plant City 76 in Sun City Center. Lutz right now 74 degrees. Gets cooler as you go to the north. 66 in Crystal River this morning. Lutz, your personalized hour by hour forecast does bring us back up to near 90. Still rather humid out there today that will improve by the weekend. We'll look at that a little bit later. And I've got your dog walking forecast coming up just minutes away. Jason. And we're going to start out with a live look from Action Air 1 this morning, flying over the Howard Franklin Bridge as you're coming in from Pinellas County into Tampa. And it looks pretty good. Yeah, there's a lot of volume out there, but things are moving along. And thankfully, I haven't seen any accidents to report to you at this time. So there is some good news there. It's Friday morning. It's the last thing you want to deal with, right, for that Friday morning drive. So right now, less than 10 minutes for the Howard Franklin going either to St. Pete or coming into Tampa from St. Petersburg. And we're also watching I-4 closely because, of course, as you come in from the Selman to the I-275 interchange, that little area right there, always congests this time of day and that's what we're seeing. So you could expect to see a couple of delays here as they're now in the red. You're only looking at a minute or two delay at this time, but it's that time of day that we know the Saltman, the I-4 and I-275 area is starting to back up. James. Jason, thank you. First up here this morning marks one week since Brian Laundrie was reported missing and now local officers have a new reason to find him. Yesterday, the FBI announced a federal arrest warrant for Brian, the only person of interest in Gabby Petito's death. But Brian wasn't charged for her death. Instead, a Wyoming grand jury indicted him for unauthorized use of a debit card. According to a court filing, Brian used that card to withdraw more than $1,000 after Gabby's death. At this point, we don't know who the card belonged to. The indictment says Brian wasn't authorized to use it. The search for him will continue in Sarasota County this morning, and our governor says the state will continue to help. We're here to help. We want to do more. If there's anything more we can do to make an impact, we want to do it. Uh, we need justice in this case. In just a couple of hours, officers will again search the Carlton Reserve, where Brian's parents say he went hiking last week before he went missing. Going in depth here with that warrant for Brian Laundry now, it's for a federal charge for unauthorized use of a credit card. Our Jameson Euler reached out to a former federal prosecutor and now prominent Bay Area defense attorney Stephen Crawford. At first glance, it seems like a minor charge. But Crawford says, in his experience, this warrant can be used to temporarily hold laundry for another warrant that could be coming down the pike. There's a process to this. I have a sneaking suspicion that Wyoming is busy and that their grand jury has met and that a grand jury uh, has handed down an indictment for murder and that that arrest warrant is sealed and they will wait until they find him. Then if he's arrested in Florida, they will serve him with that arrest warrant from Wyoming and then they'll ship him back when they get a chance to ship him back. Of course, all of that hinges upon police tracking laundry down wherever he is. We're staying on top of that story for you. Busy week for us here at the studio. It is Friday, time to explore somewhere new. Dia is in Lutz. Keep your eyes peeled on the screen because she's in front of a haunted schoolhouse. <laughs> oh my.
my gosh. We're convinced now that the ghosts are out here watching our show. You know, this is the latest stop on our community tour. There's so much history here in Lutz. A lot, of course, can also happen in five years. In the city of Lutz, the community of Lutz can certainly attest to that. Wide acres of lush land now home to businesses and neighborhoods waking, making way for a new Lutz. As our Vanessa Riza found out, it's creating jobs and putting this community in the spotlight. This is what some people may picture when you mention the city of Lutz. 